Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about Chad Lutsky's of Foster Homes and Flies. Yeah. Uh, this is a great book. Uh, I, I didn't really have any problems with it as much as I preferred some of other, some of Chad's other books to this book. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this book. Um, I feel that, uh, Skullface Boy and Stirring the Sheets are superior works, but only by a fair margin. Um, this one did not give me the overall sense of, I don't know, completion that Skullface Boy did. And not to say it wasn't a full story, it's just the other one felt more complete. There was probably a lot more going on, and that's why I prefer that one. That's, that's about it, really. Uh, this tells the story of a little boy who... Uh, whose mother dies, and he decides not to tell anybody about it, uh, and I'm going to leave the reason why for you guys to read the book. Um, it's on the back of the book that uh, he says, uh, a, 12, a neglected 12-year-old boy does nothing to report the death of his mother in order to compete in a... Um, I'll let you guys decide whether or not you want to read this. Um, I thought at the end... It wasn't really predictable, but it was rather, I don't know, anticlimactic. That would be like the one minute uh, detail, well, the one minute criticism, not detail, that I would have. Whereas Skullface Boy, I felt like that was a fully formed thing, and it felt, like I said, it felt more complete. Uh, to try and save repeating myself, I, I will say that the, the writing here is just as good as it always is, and I feel like <laughs> everything that I want to say, I have said before about Chad's work. Um, I will likely end up doing an author spotlight. He's one of my new favorite authors. Um, he also watches the channel, so hi, Chad. Uh, appreciate you coming by the streams and everything, man. Um, but he, on top of that, I also need to make you aware of, I probably should have done this at the beginning of the video, but Chad recently reviewed my book, Everything is Horrible Now, over at Cemetery Dance. So, I mean, you, you might be able to see a bias there. There isn't one, but you might see one. Uh, I just want to make sure that you guys are informed as possible. Chad's a great dude. Um, he's an even better writer, if that can be said. Um, but definitely go check out Chad's work. Uh, I would I would say probably start with this one and then work your way up. I'm not sure the publication order. I'm going to have to talk to him about it. I, I'm sure that this one came before Skullface Boy. But sometimes authors write things and they leave it sitting off in the wings or they work on one project more. So I'd love to hear from you, Chad, about which came first. You know, was one written before the other? Did one stew longer? I don't know. I'm interested about that kind of thing. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. That was probably a pretty shit review. I'm going to tell you that right now. Ooh, look, look at that hairline. Ooh, probably more missing back here. I don't know. I'll see you in the editing. Editing E, you blur that out. He's not going to want to work that hard. Um, but yeah, uh, I think my favorite scene in this whole thing is when he meets the hitchhiker. What's her name? Sam, I think. Um, I think that's probably my favorite scene. There... It did feel like some some stuff, some ideas were used um, later on in Skullface Boy, as if he didn't go as deep as he wanted to in this one and realized it later. It, again, Chad, if you're still watching this, if that's if that's the case, man, of course I, I mean no offense, but if that's the case, I can I feel like there were certain themes that you wanted to tackle, and this one wasn't as quite as deep as the other ones. This was more surface layer. Um, so I mean, if the other if the other two books were after this one, you've definitely grown as an author. You can tell by by leaps and bounds. Um, I, like I said, I didn't dislike this book. Uh, I really liked it, and had I read it first, it probably would have been four stars. I know. Seems like a dick move to get it four, just because it didn't match up to the other ones. But, uh, as a, as a scale to watch you, to watch you grow as an author, and yeah, I'm talking directly to the author here, but as, as a scale to watch you grow as an author, I think that's fantastic. Now, if I'm completely off base and you wrote the other one and just didn't get it out, um, right away or tweaked it even more to get it right before it's sent out, then I'm just going to sound like a fool. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.